afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today, once again, from Islands, the soft release .15.1, which is prequel to 1.0. So essentially, it's 1.0 almost. <laughs> so at the end of the last episode, of course, I, we took a look at Island Zero and all the things that were it, and then I loaded up the boat. I added a chest and a couple of wicker baskets, so I have plenty of food and supplies and things like that. And actually, let me go ahead and grab, let's do some sliced roast. Um, and I've got some eggs. I have my sleeping pad. I'll have my basic equipment. Uh, and I just want to grab one more thing. I found out when I was loading up the boat, this was really cool, as I could put my pouches in the chests now, which I really appreciate. I basically took everything I thought I might want to need because you know what? I'm used to having to search forever for the next island, unless, of course, I happen to have cheated <laughs> and gone into the editor, found out where they were, and then made a scatter plot. But I didn't for this one. I did this. Okay. So, this is the island we started on, over here on the left. That's where I'm currently bound to. I have now found this island. And when I first found it, this one was not there on the map. So it's nice to see because I thought I had read somewhere that it would indicate on the map which tier of island we were on. So we're on a tier one island and look how close it was. I pretty much left this island and it showed up right on the compass. Go this way, next island here. So that was really nice. I like that. I didn't have to go searching around. So here we are on a tier one island. It looks like a savanna. Uh, I have completely circumnavigated it, and it's it's just, it's gorgeous. As always, I am enjoying the terrain, and let me tell you, the boat ride over with the moon and all of that, the graphics are just so good. They have made some nice improvements. So let's just take a look around. Now, there are things on this island that can kill me. So I need to be very careful and I need to pay attention. I'm assuming there's at least hyenas. So I'm sticking to my, you know, usual thing of basically starting by going around the edges. Okay, they have grain, we have magic plants, we have ostriches, we have cassava root, which is a good one. Oh, lots of snapdragons. So when we get into magic, we can finally have snapdragons. Yep, see, hyenas. There's two. I see three. Okay, it's getting closer. I don't really want to. I don't want to fight anything right now. Uh, there's a lot of crabs here, so we could make crab armor if we had to. Um, I'm hoping this, there's some sisal agave uh, because I really wouldn't mind being able to uh, make cloth faster. I may not have a choice but to try and fight. Let's see if I can sneak between those two hyenas without either of them noticing. I'm just going to go down the middle. You, oh, a skunk. Don't miss off the skunk. Okay. I suspect that we've got... Is that a camel over there? That's a camel over there. I'm betting. Okay. I'm kind of gramping plant samples because, you know... As long as you have one, you can make the seeds. And from there, you usually get three seeds. So you can, you know, slowly create an entire crop. I'm also keeping an eye out for metals. Um, as we said before, metals are apparently not populating to the level that they used to. Um, it may be even to the level they were expected to. All right, so we've got melons. We've got sand all the way up on the top of these hills. That's interesting. I'm going to keep grabbing cassava root. Uh, okay. Oh, it's starting to rain. All right, let's see. A camel. Oh, my gosh. Can I tame and ride the camel? No. The camel doesn't want to stick around. And I don't really want to take out a camel just to find out what it does. As far as giving us anything. Okay. Yeah, this weather, I can't sleep in this weather. And if it gets dark, 
it is going to have bad things coming out after me, and I have no shelter. It's not like we can make a tent, you know? And when I circumnavigated the island, I did not see any pre-made shelter options. The skunk. Uh, oh, it's a honey badger. They warned us about honey badgers in a tweet. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I got the honey badger. badger. It did not get me. It looks like a skunk, but now I know it's not a skunk. Okay. And it gives us a hide. All right, let's find out what we can use that in to make leather. All right, well, that's okay. Oh, there's another one. And when they bite you, ooh, when they bite you, they stun you for a second. Oh, I'm about to die. And I'm running toward an area full of hyenas. Uh, oh, rhinoceros. I bet you those aren't good. Oh, hyenas to the right, rhinoceros to the left, honey badger behind me, and a hole in the ground ahead of me. Oh, how are we doing? Did we get away from it? Apparently we did, and it seems to be stopping raining. <gasps> I need to keep an eye on the sun. Where's the sun? I can't see the sun. It's high overhead. Okay. It's heading downward, though, I'm betting. Okay. Oh! So we have definitely got an underground spot. Okay, tier one, and there is a bad thing right there. All right, let's 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 try this. Activate. Activate combat mode. Why are we not firing? Why are we not fi- Oh, run away, run away. Run, run, oh my god, they stun you. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh. Well, that started out well. <laughs> you died ruthlessly slain by a hyena. All right, this should take me back to Star Island. Well, Island 1 has already proven to be tricky. Oh gosh, tell me I'm not stuck in the wall. Okay, I'm not stuck in the wall. Oh, okay. So, I took a lot of stuff with me, but I didn't take everything with me. So, I have more cotton growing. I can always make more basic weapons, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be foolish. I'm going to put my bark armor back on. Oh, like as so. So now I'm armored. Aha! It's a good look, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to get enough stuff to make an axe, I think. So I need some grass to make rope. And I'm trying to remember. I think I took all the sticks with me. There's a second horse in there now. Why are there now two horses in there? There's a wild horse with my tame horse. Huh. I wonder how that happened. Okay, well, I ran out of patience waiting for sticks to generate. And I could not make a new axe. I couldn't make anything. So luckily, luckily I had left this raft there. Because if I hadn't, I'm not sure that I would have been able to continue. I might have had to hold, totally restart or go get a creator cube and use creative means to uh, to get myself back to this boat. So if I were brand new to the game, trying to figure this out, dying on the first island, and not having been smart enough, and, and this is what I did, I wasn't smart enough to leave myself some of the things that I might need. I kind of figured I would do okay, and if I died, I would just come back to the boat. But I can't make a new axe without sticks, and the sticks, although I do think, but I'm not positive that they regenerate, they weren't regenerating fast enough. <laughs> they were not regenerating fast enough. So with that, I may be at a point where um, if I hadn't been able to come back here using that, um, I, would, I would be in trouble. So I probably should at some point go back to the island 
the starter island and make sure I leave behind an axe at least. Uh, where's stone axe? Okay, let's do it this way. There we go. I just need one more of you and then I can make you. Oh no, how many did I just make? <laughs> Hopefully just one. <laughs> I hit craft more and that that's not good all right of course I did have food and that kind of stuff so that was good but now I need to make my way to where it was that I was killed by a hyena I, the bad hyena took me out the honey badgers took softened me up and then the hyenas took me down uh, and try and get my stuff back okay so there's the hole in the ground there's my stuff. Nice. I'll take it all. I will take it all. See, I was trying to get back to the boat. <laughs> uh, there's more. I, no, I don't want to sleep on it. I, I don't want to sleep. I, I want to pick it up. Tell me we're not having this problem with not being able to... Q is now picking things. Okay. I thought it was E before, but okay. I'm not going to argue. All right. We're alive. We're well. I still don't know why the bow didn't work. Do I, I have my arrows. I have my bow. Oh, darn it. Honey badger. But when I activated combat, I couldn't shoot. And I don't know why that is. Is it coming after me? It is. I'm going to jump out of its way. What if I go up here? Can I jump on a plant? And have it not come after me? Okay, let's try. Oh, okay. I didn't hold it down long enough. What? What? Can I pick it back up? I only have so many arrows. They're precious, you know. Okay. So. Uh, it took me a little while to get back here. I've already been damaged by the darned honey badger. The honey badger got me. Definitely avoid the honey badger. They were right on that tweet. Okay. Uh, let's try. Let's try. Nope, you're too fast for me. Okay. And I'm still hungry. I need to eat more. But I want... Ah, I wish I could pick up the dud arrows. That would be really nice. I mean, it's not like it should be considered brus busted, you know? Yeah, but I'm not picking it back up. Why am I not managing to fire properly? See, when I do that, it doesn't seem to fire at all. Like when I hold it long enough to feel like I've really pulled it back, it doesn't seem to do any good. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's working the same. It just doesn't, but it's probably just me. Let's go back over here. Keeping an eye out for those things, which will, given the tents, take them down. Lots of bad things around here. Okay, so there are colored crystals in there. There's a couple of creatures down there. That honey badger's going to come back, so I need to not stay here too long. Okay, I saw something fly that time. Alright, hyena. Hyena. Let's grab our axe. Okay, it gets to stun me. I'm not happy with the stunning part. I'm just saying. The stunning part does not work for me. I need to avoid things that will hurt me because I am in bad shape. And I haven't put the better armor on yet. I should do that. I should do that. Let's put you guys in here. And we'll put the good armor back on. Now remember, right now, we don't need repair kits and stuff like that because 
Uh, there are, where's the helmet? There are, um, the weapons, the tools and all that are not taking any damage right now. They're not being worn down. So, there, I don't have to worry about suddenly my armor not working anymore. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. And it looks like the sun is starting to go down. And I haven't even explored a fraction of this island. Even a fraction. All right. Let's try a little something. I wonder if, and this may be a huge mistake, if I can sleep through the night without getting attacked by anything. Okay, I'm healing. I'm hungry. Nothing came out. Nothing came out. Okay, no, I, I clicked the Q, as in, pick it up. Not as in, sleep on it. Q, pick it up. There we go. Thank you. Actually, can I call? No, I can't call my horse. <laughs> horse is on another island. So that hasn't changed. Okay. Let's go along this coast. Oh, what's that? Totem pole and a camp. Okay, bananas, coconuts, a coconut helmet, a bunch of sand, and a torch. Interesting. Not sure how helpful that is, except that you could immediately lie on the bamboo bed and this becomes the place you regenerate. That is a thing. But I don't really know that I want to regenerate over here when my boat's on the other side of the island. Look at the colors across the desert and the rolling hills and the whole bit. That's so nice. That's just really nice. I like that a lot. It feels like I'm looking at a really nice painting where the painter has taken their time and their care with the colors. Uh, it's, it's really, really nice. Oh, we've got one of the stone statue troll golem things over there on the left. We'll work our way around there. From the amount of color I'm seeing, I'm thinking it's the painter one, which is nice. Oh, and there's an outhouse down there. I wonder if I could hide in the outhouse <laughs> at night. And I love that I can see so far. The distance. Now, I have not changed my computer settings uh, to increase everything, although I think I was running at a pretty high setting to begin with. I'm not very technical, so uh, I'd have to go and, and look at it all and tell you what I had, but uh, I did not make any changes from what I was running before. Now, I'm assuming the rhinoceros is, is not friendly. Yep, not friendly. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay. It, it got one exclamation point. That was enough for me. That was enough for me. We have cactus. We could make a cactus club. All right. Let's see. Have we cleared this area? We've cleared this area enough on the map, I think. I'm not seeing anything I haven't picked up already. Other than the rhinoceros, this is relatively... Oh, no. There's hyena. I was going to say, this, this is a relatively hostile free zone, and then, ha, <laughs> ha, there's a honey badger, too. I don't like the honey badger. Oh, Sisal Agave. Sisal. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I should go back to the starter island. What is that? Okay. Go back to the starter island. Ooh, stuff. And make building blocks. Captain's note. We'll take that. Potion of strength. We'll take that. We'll read the note here in a minute. Uh, what's, is that what was... Oh, and then the wooden barrel. We'll take that. Uh, we may as well take the alchemist pants, too. Because they're there. I see it. I think it's an alchemist hat. But I can't get to it. It's there on the back of the boat. It was a duck boat, and it's been destroyed. I like the duck boats. They're cute. All right, more sisal. Nice. 
we can get a lantern. Oh, there's shoes in here too. We'll take the boots. We'll take the painting. Hello, Mr. Rhino. We'll take the light. That is our first light because I could not make one of those. Uh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. We could really hide in here, I guess, all night long if we had to. So this island does have something that I could hide in. If I get caught out, which I need to be careful and keep an eye on the time of day, or that is what will happen. Okay. All kinds of paintings, dyes. Yep. And, and, and I'm trying to remember or figure out what that's. It looks like a really big paintbrush through its ear. Uh, winter's wreath. Ooh, the sunset painting. I really don't need to take all these things right now. I just can't seem to help myself. Uh, I'll leave all the painted rocks. And there's, yep, there's all kinds of dye in here. But I can't make a dyeing machine right now anyway. So why don't I, why don't I be smart? Because it's a different game. I'm going to put all that stuff in this chest and leave it there. Um, and I'll put that in there too. I put the boots into, but I, that, there's no more room. Um, oh wow, this is just so pretty. But I could dye my clothes if I wanted to. There is a dyeing machine, but I don't want to. So we'll have to remember that's there. Oh, actually, no. Let's let's be a little smarter. Uh, let's let's put something on here like that. Very good. Okay, so we've marked that. That's where we found him. And we found all this other stuff. That's cool. That works. Uh, I should have done that to mark where the boat is. Because this could become a problem. Let's see where we are. The boat is down here, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking it is, but I'm not sure because I get lost. In real life and game life, I get lost very easily. Gosh, gosh, it's so pretty. I'm not going to get over the landscaping anytime soon. All right, the camels are not friendly. I want to ride the camels, though. That's a thing. That's a thing we should be able to do. <laughs> we'll need a camel saddle. And then we'll be able to do it. Okay. I th think I've been up here. Yeah, I've been up there. So I'm going to cut across this way. It's a decent sized island. So far, no metal, which means I'm going to have to go underground if I want to try and find metal. And I have to hope that it's not so broken that there isn't any at all. So far, no coal, no copper, no iron, not even flint or sandstone patches, actually, come to th think on it which is really weird to me. I would have thought there would have been one or the other. Uh, where's the sun? Okay. And I don't know where north, south, east, west is, so I'm just going to assume it's going down because I've been running around for quite a while. So I'm going to go back to the boat and I'm going to sleep again. And then I'm going to try and explore through the center, which is what got me killed in the first place. So it's probably not smart. But I, th yeah, I think I'm going to go back to, to the main island, starter island, and I'm going to do a couple things so that I can come back here and throw up a shelter. Because uh, I'm not obviously capable at this point, because I, uh, neither capable of, because I have no iron, nor inclined to, because I'm not ready, put up my barrier. Oh, look at the color. It went from, you know, twilight to dawn it just oh oh no I clicked Q what why did you think Q is the equivalent to a click why okay we need to eat let's just make sure that we've offloaded what we can this should go in the pouch where's the pouch there's the pouch you go in there Here, is this full? Yeah, I think I've actually filled all my containers. And I brought more stuff than I needed. Of course I did, because I'm me. 
and I always do that and I, and, and I know I'm going to do it but I can't help myself oh and we still haven't read the note let's read the note read the whole fleet has perished on the ocean some acidic brew burned holes in our boat all shipment of alchemist ingredients has been lost on seabed okay so somewhere maybe off the coast where that is there is a supply of alchemist materials waiting to be found and retrieved. I don't know. Um, there's no sulfur, so I'm trying to think you need rubber to make diving suits. So that's not possible at this point. Again, I'm having to rethink how I'm playing the game completely. Completely rethink it and what I'm trying to do. Okay, there's the hole in the ground. I'm going to go a little bit this way. I'm going to have to skirt past the rhino, around the hyena. Zuh. Ignore the camels. Okay. So. Oh, what's this? We missed this. Some sort of dragon statue. And what has it got around it? Piles of ash. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so it's been burning things up. Uh-huh. A new friend. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat. And where's the boat? That way. We'll collect some more of you. All right, so yeah, I'm going to head back to Island Zero. This is our first look at an Island One. And so I kind of think that anyone could come here with basic preparations and survive if they pick a spot and build something right here like on the beach and then basically live in that hut while they go from there. Um, of course, while you're building the hut, you probably need to sleep on a mat or sleep on your boat every night, depending on what you got. Um, right now, we still can't do anything, by the way, of building a bigger boat because we have no iron. So there's no nails. There's no blacksmith station. None of that. That's not happening. So, yeah, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go back to the island, and I'm going to make a whole bunch more brick blocks because I don't want to build a log cabin so I'm gonna make some brick blocks and some more windows and come back prepared to throw up some kind of building and put a bed in there and reestablish my starting point as here in the meantime I'm also gonna go ahead and grow a bunch of sisal and make cloth and make stone armor so I think that's my plan for the moment uh, so yeah that's going to be it for this one, folks. That was our look at a Tier 1 island, my first Tier 1 island def. Uh -huh. And though once I started really focusing and paying attention and not just going gaping and gawing at everything, I actually was able to explore the whole island, check it out, find some interesting stuff, and avoid dying. So the Tier 1 island is not horrifying. My biggest concern is, though, that there are no metals showing. Now, I don't know what metals are supposed to be on Tier 1. I think iron is supposed to be there. I would think coal is supposed to be there. Um, I know Tier 1 armor looks like it includes some kind of metal. I'm looking at the original blog, blog post from the developers. Whoops, and I lost track of where I'm going. So we'll see. But uh, for now, if you know anything that would help, if there's any questions you have, anything you want to have me try, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Uh, but for now, this is Little Daffodil thanking you, as always, for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.